Hello, I'm Adrian Chandler and I'm here with the ensemble La Serenissima in Wells to record some music by Antonio Vivaldi. Vivaldi was an extraordinary composer and what's more, he was born in the city of Venice, a really magical city. <laughs> Vivaldi was born in 1678 in the city of Venice. Venice is an extraordinary place. It is a city that's based in the middle of a lagoon. There are no roads, just lots of canals, bridges, alleyways. From far and wide, people flocked to Venice during Vivaldi's lifetime to soak up the atmosphere. And in particular, they loved coming during the season of carnival, when people would put on really fancy costumes and wear very strange looking masks. Vivaldi's father was also a violinist and probably taught the young Vivaldi how to play the violin when he was a boy. He also started training to become a priest and later on in life he would juggle his career being a priest with the career of a celebrity violinist, playing the violin, writing concertos, teaching. He also ran opera houses, composed operas. Um, he must have been a very, very busy man. Because Vivaldi was something of an 18th century celebrity, there were many people that wanted a slice of his fame. In Venice, there were four institutions that were rather special. The one that Vivaldi belonged to was called the Ospedale della Pietà. And what this place did was it would take in babies whose parents couldn't afford to raise them. The parents would leave the babies in a hole in a wall and then they would walk away. And the Pietà would raise these children. They took in both boys and girls. The boys were given some sort of trade, and then when they became of age, they would leave the Pietà and go back into the big wild world. The girls, on the other hand, most of them would not ever leave the Pietà again. You might think that's quite difficult for the girls, but some of the girls, a select few, were chosen to receive musical, a really privileged musical education. They sang, they played the violin, they played the viola, the cello, the double bass, the organ, the harpsichord, the spinet, the mandolin, the fiorbo, the arch lute, the recorder, the flute, the oboe, and the chalamo. There's people that went to hear uh, concerts at the Pietà said there was no instrument big enough to frighten them. Vivaldi wrote a huge number of concertos. He wrote between four and five hundred. That's, that's an awful lot. And he, he boasted um, that he could compose a concerto faster than a copyist could copy out the parts for the musicians uh, to play from. difficult to play. They're really virtuosic. So in this violin concerto you'll hear lots of fast notes playing very high up, sort of all sorts of soft, hard, brittle articulations uh, with the bow.
another thing that's often associated with Vivaldi's concertos is they're just really joyful, jubilant, exuberant pieces. It was music such as this that drew all those tourists in the 18th century to Venice. Going to a concert at the Pietà must have been one of the highlights of the trip, particularly if you might have got a glimpse of the great Antonio Vivaldi himself. Just imagine what kind of atmosphere there would have been at one of these concerts given at the Pietà. What would people have been wearing? And after the concert, they might have come out and seen the fireworks exploding over the water of Venice.